Hello everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are not new, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marina and I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia with my parents and my brother. Um, we got in last night and I figured I might as well vlog it. I haven't vlogged anything in a while and this trip that we are on is so my brother can look at a few of the colleges around here that he is interested in. Right now my parents are out with him touring Georgia State University. I am in finals mode okay. I am currently as of this week in my last week of college and finals. It's a lot. So I, <laughs> I'm i choosing to take this vacation as a time to just focus on school as much as I can. I know that might not seem like a vacation but that's kind of the reality of my situation but whatever fun stuff happens over the next few days i will try to get it on camera we're currently in my room so i guess i should show you it's kind of a mess this is what it looks like full body mirror over there closet here tv here and the bed and guess what i have my own bathroom kind of i share it with my brother but his room is like down the hall. My room connects to the bathroom, which is why I chose this room. I chose this room because I've never had my own bathroom. So, and the bathroom's really nice. But also this is the better of the two rooms because this room has a TV and my brother's room doesn't. So I win. This is the bathroom. It's really nice, really pretty. I love it in here. And this is shower honestly this part of the bathroom is like it makes me feel kind of claustrophobic because it's so closed in but it's still really nice and then we walk out of the bathroom and we are now in the hallway where's the light better okay next is my brother's room as you can see it looks the exact same as mine except no tv and not connected to the bathroom so yeah my brother can't sleep without noise in the background though so he ended up sleeping downstairs which i will show you the downstairs in a second because it's the best part of the house in my opinion this is my parents bedroom they obviously have the nicest one and then out here it's a balcony area it's a really nice day out in Georgia. Apparently the weather for the next few days that we're here is supposed to be just in the 90s, which is a huge shift from Michigan. Um, Michigan weather has been a little bit of um, hot or cold <laughs> over the past month of spring. We either get really good weather or really bad weather. So the fact that this is gonna stay consistent while we're here is actually like kind of whiplash, but it's fine. And the best part of their room, which is also one of my favorite parts of the house is definitely their bathroom. Like, hello? Hello? Guys, that's a shower head. What the heck? So, yeah, this is obviously one of the better parts of the house, in my opinion. And then, of course, here is the little area with the toilet. But again, the toilet areas of the bathrooms make me very claustrophobic. And now we move on to the downstairs area. We get to the front door, which is here. And then you immediately see the dining room over here. Here is another bathroom. I like the look of this one more than the ones upstairs, to be honest. I also really like the tile. Now on to my favorite and arguably the best part of the house. Let's talk about this kitchen. This is like ridiculous. This kitchen is so pretty. It's so pretty and it's an open space to the family room, which is on this side. And then we get another balcony deck right over here. I really like this house. If you cannot tell, I'm a big fan of the way that this house looks. But yeah, I've kind of just been spending my time by myself here while my parents are out with my brother. I'm gonna be doing like family stuff with them tomorrow. But today I really just wanted to, I wanted to focus on getting some of my finals done because some of them are due as soon as I get back from Atlanta. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And honestly, nothing has happened so far in the trip for me personally. Um, I got 1,000 words into my paper, which is great. Since I have this house to myself, I think I'm literally just going to watch Julie and the Phantoms on this big TV over here. And I'm gonna have the time of my life. For those of you guys that don't know, Julie and the Phantoms is my current obsession right now. Like if you follow me on Twitter, you know I am so obsessed with that show. 
I'm four years late to the hype. I'm fully aware. I don't care. <laughs> that show was so good. I'm gonna try to put everyone that I know onto it just so they can feel the same pain I feel at the fact that it hasn't been renewed. Um, but anyway, this is the home for the next few days. We're only gonna be here up until Sunday. It's currently Friday. I think tomorrow we're gonna spend all of our time just walking around different schools and possibly getting something to eat. I don't know, I don't really know what's in Atlanta. So when my mom told me we were coming here, I kind of just put it in the back of my brain cause like, I don't think of Atlanta as a vacation spot or like a tour destination that I wanna like walk around. So I don't really know what there is to do. I know from my mom that it's known for brunch. So we might go out, get brunch tomorrow. The possibilities are kind of endless, but while I'm here alone, I'm going to chill, get a little bit more homework done, watch Jillian the Phantoms, and try and act like this is a real vacation. I just got a text from my mom that they are on the way back home and we are going to go out to eat at a place called Slutty Vegan. That sounds promising. My mom has told me about this place before and I think she's really looking forward to it. Um, I know that I am, I guess, I don't know. I'm not really that hungry. My stomach actually kind of hurts and I'm not in the mood for food, but apparently it's like a really popular vegan place. And for those of you guys that don't know or probably do, the only meat I eat is fish. I'm a pescatarian. So we're gonna go out to eat, try this place. And it's gonna be a good time, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully I like the food. And if not, then at least I can say that I tried it. Okay, we are officially back from Slutty Vegan. This has nothing to do with the food place, but I don't think it's talked enough about how Atlanta traffic is literal hell, hell on earth. Like, and mind you, I've been to Los Angeles before, okay? I've seen really bad, terrible, horrific traffic in my life, but my goodness, I don't know what, it, maybe it's just because of the area we're in while we're in Atlanta, but like everywhere, construction, roads blocked off people not knowing how to drive. It took us like way too long to get to Slutty Vegan when it was like, I think 10 minutes away. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's cause we're here. We bring all the traffic with us from Michigan to Atlanta. But no, um, the food was good. I liked it and so did my mom and dad and they are the harshest, toughest critics when it comes to anything that's not meat. So their stamp of approval must mean that it's good. Me, like I said, I don't eat meat anyway, so I guess I'm biased no matter what. Um, but I did like it. However, I didn't really get to enjoy it all that much because before I left, my stomach was hurting kind of, like really bad. It was kind of hurting this morning too, but I was hoping like after a few hours it would pass and then it didn't. And I just took some Pepto-Bismol. So we're gonna see how this goes. We also have to eat again in a few hours. I think we're going out to dinner or something. I think while we're here, it's just gonna be a bunch of eating, <laughs> which I'm not complaining about. It's just like my body isn't prepped for this. I was gonna work on homework when I got back, but now I'm not only full and my stomach hurts, but I'm also tired. So I think I'm just gonna lay down for the next few hours and probably, probably not, but probably work on my homework and stuff later on. I got pretty far in my assignments. Like I got, again, halfway into that paper that I talked about earlier and I started working on another portfolio piece that's due in like a week. Vacation mode, but also like still trying to stay on top of my grades. And my parents keep laughing at me every time I bring up the fact that I have to study or do homework, but like, it's literally the truth. What else am I supposed to do? I have to do my finals. So yeah, that's the agenda. I don't know where we're going out to eat. They didn't tell me. So I guess I'll find out later and I'll let you guys know. Guys, we're basically in like this food court place. There are different kinds of foods everywhere. Guys, I'm super overwhelmed here. It's like a whole street corner thing. 
of this food. It's like a food court basically, but it's like all different types of food. There are like at least 20 restaurants in this one corner. I ended up ordering ramen, but I feel like I should have gotten something else. And now my family is off trying to find something to eat and they left me here. I'm just gonna wait for my food and then we're gonna go back home. I don't think we're gonna stay in. It's very crowded in here and it's very hot. But apparently this place is like only a few minutes away from our house. So I guess we can come back here tomorrow. I have no idea. Ramen has been caught. And now we are going back to the home. Okay, we're back home. We're back home. I recorded in there, but I don't think they heard me because it was so loud. So just to reiterate what I said earlier, we're, we're basically in like a food court place. And we all got different things because they had different food options in there. Like everyone else got soul food type yes. things. Can I show them? Hey, okay, show them. So good. Ooh. Delicious. And the boys got pretty much the same thing. I got ramen because my stomach is still feeling weird and so I wanted to get something a little less heavy. So I just got veggie ramen with shrimp. I don't always get ramen. Dad was judging my food earlier and it was really rude. Yeah, we might go back there tomorrow because they have a lot of options and they are only like a few minutes away. Is it good? I want to taste mine first. I know, it's really good. 10 out of 10. That's good. You feel what That's good. What'd you get? I haven't even had the uh, chicken waffles. Both of you? No. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> that look. Oh my, I scared her so the mac and cheese she tasted. She's like, that's good. I don't know. I can't eat it. Though. It's really good though. Okay, I am back in my room. I am full, I am tired, and I am ready to lay down. First day in Atlanta, I feel like was a success question mark. Um, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> All I did was do my homework and eat which is fine, kind of giving the vibes of being at home, just in a different state, which again, fine with. But hopefully tomorrow would be a lot more fun, I guess. I didn't film much today because every time I went out, I didn't bring my camera because I forgot to bring a bag or a purse or anything to hold my camera in. So I've mostly been recording on my phone, which is really awkward, just as much as recording on a camera in public so sorry i'm going to clock out for the night i'm going to take a shower and i'm going to i was gonna say i'm gonna go to bed but that's probably a lie because it's coachella weekend two starting today and 80s if you guys know my favorite k-pop group is performing again this weekend so i might stay up for that and then i'll go to sleep so yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye Hello everyone. Welcome to the next day of this Atlanta trip and the last day. We're leaving out tomorrow morning. So today is supposed to be a fun day. We're supposed to leave out in about an hour to go get brunch and that's what I'm currently getting ready for. If only my makeup would just come out that would be lovely. Yeah I don't know where we're getting brunch at um, but I am hungry as brick so i don't really care what we're eating as long as there's food that's kind of been my mindset this whole entire trip <laughs> like i don't really care what we do as long as there's like food involved that's what i was telling my mom before we left i was like as long as you feed me i do not care what we do for this trip and as you guys can see that has been basically everything we've been doing is just eating at different places as you can see i'm kind of just going along for the ride of this trip i don't really know what the agenda is or the itinerary all i know is that i'm supposed to be there so i'm getting ready to go i'm not gonna try to do anything like too much with my makeup i feel like there's no real point because it's so hot outside that I fear I might just sweat it off. It's like 85 degrees right now and it's said to get hotter as the day goes on. So I'm not going to be wearing that much makeup. Honestly, I was hesitant to wear makeup anyway because I don't have any of my skincare stuff with me. 
because it got thrown out at the airport. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, okay? I know that you're only supposed to bring like specific amounts of liquids and stuff in your carry-on bag or whatever, but I only had like a little bit of product left in those bottles. So I brought it, even though like the containers were big, the product inside was like maybe two drops. I was gonna use the last of it here and then they ended up throwing it away. So I'm kind of hesitant to wear makeup simply because I don't want my skin to act up. But fuck it, we ball. I'm hoping my skin does not do too much since I don't have my skincare stuff at all. All I've been using is water the past few days to wash my face and it feels so gross. Today I'm actually gonna try to bring my camera with me because yesterday I didn't. I might have my mom carry my camera in her purse. Maybe, I don't know. I did not bring any of my eyeshadow brushes with me. Whoopsies. I have not eaten anything this morning. My mom just went out to get coffee. She asked if I wanted to come, but I did not feel like changing out of my pajamas to go get coffee. That's like down the street. So I said no, but I'm happy that she brought me stuff because I feel very uncaffeinated today. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, my night was eventful, not because I left the house or anything, but because I watched ATZ's Coachella set for weekend two. My boys killed it as per usual. I did not expect anything less. I was worried though, because I was just like, if the cameraman that they had last weekend did their set again this weekend, oh, we would have had problems. Whoever was in charge of the camera work last weekend deserves jail. And I, that's not me being dramatic, I'm being so serious. The fact that half of their set was recorded that way is not, that's not. <sighs> but this weekend they did so well and I was up at like 3 a.m. in the morning watching it trying not to scream. I kept waking up in the middle of the night after that, which is I guess on brand for me because I have problems sleeping anyways, but that whole entire performance really kept me up at night what's looking so far i'm so upset i meant to wake up early this morning just to crank out some more homework before we did anything today because i knew that i wouldn't be at home at all today so i was hoping i'd be able to wake up a little bit early to get some stuff done guys i woke up multiple times throughout the night and i ended up waking up at like 6 a.m i stared at my laptop i stared at the time and i went back to sleep oh no oh no I'm hoping I'll have time to do it at the airport, but I think our flight tomorrow is so early. I think our flight leaves at like seven. So we're probably gonna get at the get to the airport at around like five-ish. Early flight, yay. Where's the one pencil that I need? That's a lot of highlighter, but you know what? The sun's gonna be out, so why not glow, you know? I'm gonna have to blend the fuck out of it, but why not glow? Putting the products in the wrong bag. So yeah, that's the agenda today. Uh, we're just gonna be doing a lot of stuff that I'm not familiar with or aware that we're doing, but apparently it's supposed to be fun. And I'm taking you guys with me on the journey of today. And I hope that you enjoy whatever we have going on. I'm honestly debating on if I'm ending the vlog once this trip is over, because spoiler alert, I was going to make a vlog that shows days leading up to my graduation, which is in like two weeks. All of the footage that I had for it up until this point has just been muted and slowed down. I don't know why my camera auto corrects to that setting when I don't use it after a while. Cause I haven't filmed in like two months, if you guys haven't noticed. And my camera has the tendency to just like auto correct all of my settings. And so for the past few weeks, I've been filming everything with no audio in slow motion. And so I'm feeling like now that my audio and stuff is back to normal, hopefully, I did double check before I did this, it looks back to normal to me. Then I could just record the days leading up to my graduation up to this point. Granted, it's I'm basically over now. Like I have no more classes this upcoming week. Granted, they, I do have in-person classes, but I'm not going to them. <laughs> I'm going to be focused on getting my finals done. And in order to do that, I'm just not gonna go to campus anymore because that wastes a lot of my time that I could be spending at home doing my final work. So yeah, everything's pretty much done. There's nothing left to record. I just feel like I should. I feel like it could be fun. If only my camera cooperated, maybe it would have been. Ooh, powder everywhere. Ooh, I need more setting powder. I'm almost out of this. It's been holding on for dear life, but I can't withstand it anymore. Which I think is so funny because I barely ever wear makeup. I've been trying to more as of this past year, but even then it's like barely. So I don't know where all my product went. 
But yeah, I need more setting powder. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Because I don't know shit about makeup. I think I'm going to wear Vaseline. I don't feel like wearing lip gloss. I don't feel like having it get stuck in my hair when I walk outside. It's just like a whole hassle. Great. This is how I look for today. I'll see you guys when we're about to leave. What's on the Yeah, I was sorry. I think I'm just gonna get waffles. I'm gonna just start getting waffles. Yeah, no, I'm good. We're getting the honey ones, right? It, it comes with all three. All three? Okay. Yeah, it says choice of one, but it comes with all three. Okay. 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 Cool. Just got out of the restaurant. I think I'll rate the food like a seven out of ten. I get that good. I would do six. Six? I well yours six. came out cold. Yeah. But the service was nice. The lady yeah, the was our waitress was really sweet. The food itself was like a seven out of ten. It was mid. It was mid. But you're not good. You're there for the vibes. You don't go to a restaurant for the vibes. <laughs> you go to a restaurant for the food. But now we're going to the track museum.
this was a very educational trip. What about you? Wow, so many words. They did it right here too. We are now going to walk around in a mall area. Why do you only want that in? No. That car has it too. Oh, there's two other cars over there that has it. Really? Yep. Or we thought we were going in the mall, but we might have to hotel car fitting right here with We have we have to move the car or else we will get booted because the cops are not playing. They are booting people in the parking lot. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, we are officially back home. Um, we were at the mall for maybe like 20 to 30 minutes before we just decided to leave simply because I feel like Honestly, after we got brunch this morning, we were all pretty tired, so none of us really felt like doing anything. <laughs> so right now, I know that we have reservations for a seafood place later, but to be honest, I don't even know if we're gonna make it to that because we're all just really, really tired. I did have fun at the trap museum though. I don't know how much of the footage I'm gonna include because some of it, I don't know if YouTube would let me put that on the internet, but it was like a really cool place. I got a water boys, in the hood shirt um my dad explained to me what it meant because i just thought it was like a boys in the hood movie reference but no it's like a historical background uh, that i honestly don't feel like explaining but i got to learn a lot more about trap music and the history behind it kind of through my dad more from my dad than the museum itself but the museum was really cool it had really cool looking art while i was at the mall i was trying to find a new camera bag because i somehow ended up losing mine when we got out of the car the first time at the mall but the ones at the mall were like super duper expensive <laughs> i ended up ordering one cheaper um on the ride back home that's all we did really i would say that the day is over but again i don't know if we're gonna go out to eat or not if we do i'll record it if not then I'll just be chilling here. <laughs> be packing up my stuff because we leave pretty early in the morning tomorrow. <sighs> it's about to be a very, very long 24 hours. It's only 3.43. That's insane. So <laughs> I feel like I've lived so many lives in the past few hours, but it's only, it's only been a few hours. I th yeah, I think I'm going to start packing up my stuff and then I'll talk to you guys later. Probably if I'm doing something. Okay guys, it is like 7 o'clock. We're going back to the place we went yesterday that had all of the different types of restaurants with different types of food. We did not feel like going out eating at a restaurant. There's a fight on apparently and my dad really wants to watch it. So <laughs> we're staying home. We're just going to go out to this place, figure out what to eat. I don't know what I want. I'll figure it out when I get there though. Back for round two. I don't think I'll ever get used to how crowded it is in here. So I got mac and cheese because after trying mom's yesterday, 
I needed to get some of my own. MJ got chicken and waffles again. My mom was just talking about this. They've been eating chicken like multiple times over the past few days. Everyone else is chickened out. My brother is not. This is what he got. Standard mac and cheese and cornbread. So yay, bone apple tea. They almost forgot this. I have to go back and get it. I almost left without my cornbread. That would have been very disappointing. It's too good. I'm satisfied. This is probably a really ugly angle, but I don't care because I'm eating and I don't feel like holding my camera up. And I also don't feel like grabbing my tripod. But yeah, we are visually back home. I'm eating good food. Right after I'm done, me and everyone else, we are all going to try to get this house back together before we leave tomorrow. So I feel like I should just close the vlog out here. I know what I mentioned earlier about wanting to like spread this out until my graduation but I think I'm gonna start recording again when I get home and make that a separate video so yeah if you guys enjoyed this short little vacation vlog thank you <laughs> if you like to follow me on social media here it is I mostly interact on Twitter but if you like to follow me on all the other apps such as TikTok Instagram all that jazz it'll be linked down in the description below and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone <laughs>